Hello everyone, we are the students of Sri Sankardeva Netralaya and in this video we are going to demonstrate every steps involved in rigid gas permeable contact lens fitting. First we have to go for history taking. First and foremost when a patient come for RGP lens we have to take the ocular and medical history. This is the most important step as it will let us know if the patient is eligible for RGP lens or not. Reflection To determine the power required by the patient, we have to do both objective and subjective reflection. In objective reflection, we are using retinoscope and in subjective reflection, we are using Snellenser for distance and Reduce nail insert for near. Next, we are going for preliminary examination and measurement. After determining the power, we must do a complete preliminary evaluation of the eye. Under it, we should perform slit lamp examination to assess the eyelid, eyelashes, conjunctiva, cornea, anterior chamber, iris, crystalline lens etc. We must go for dry eye evaluation because putting contact lens in excessive dry eye may turn risky. In this video, we are performing Sarmars test 1 for 5 minutes and got about 22 mm in this trip. For measuring corneal curvature or to determine the K1 and K2 values, we can use various types of keratometer such as manual keratometers or automatic keratometers. In this video, we are using automatic handheld keratometer by Nidec. Here are the values we got. We should also check the horizontal visible iris diameter and pupil diameter using a ruler. We have to check the palpable fissure height. After taking all the measurements, we have to calculate and derive the back optic zone radius and the total diameter value. These values will tell us which contact lens we should opt for the patient. To calculate the BOZR, we should take the flat K value and subtract 0.05 from it. Here for the right eye, we got the BOZR as 7.57 mm. To calculate the total diameter, we should subtract 2 mm from the HVID value. Here we got the HVID value as 8. Before any contact lens style and fitting, we must wash our hand properly. We must use the proper hand washing technique. After washing, we must dry our hand with this paper or air dry it. It is better not to use any towel or handkerchief as it may contain pathogens. For contact lens trial, we will require mainly the RGP trial set, RGP lens solution, a washing ball, a mirror and tissue paper etc. Before putting the contact lens on the eye, we must clean it properly. The cleaning procedure involves some steps. Take the RGP lens on the palm of hand. Pour same RGP solution on it. Now use the index finger of another hand and rush it anti-clockwise and clockwise. Again repeat the same procedure with other surface of the lens. Now pinch it with the finger and hold it over the washing ball and rinse it with RGP solution. Now the lens is ready for insertion. Now, for insertion, put the RGP lens on the index finger. Ask the patient to look straight and pull the upper and lower eyelid of the patient with the other fingers and then gently place the RGP lens on the cornea of the patient. Now gently release the lower eyelid and then upper eyelid and ask the patient 
to look down and slowly close his eyes here are two types of fitting assessment dynamic fitting assessment and static fitting assessment in dynamic fitting assessment we have to check the lens position centration stability and movement during the assessment we ask the patient to blink look up down right and left and observe the lens properly in this case we can see that the lens is low riding unstable not centered well in static fitting we are using fluorescent dye and look for the fit for center mid periphery and peripheral zone in static fitting assessment we can get three probable fits as this static fitting characterized by excessive center clearance heavy mid peripheral contact zone narrow edge width and reduce edge clearance next one is flat fit characterized by excessive central touch zone flat mid peripheral zone excessive edge width and excessive edge clearance to get optimal or ideal fit there should be minimal central clearance light mid peripheral contact zone optimal edge width and average edge clearance after getting ideal fit we have to do over refraction with the contact lens on to determine the suitable power for the best corrective visual acuity are you seeing clearly mm, yes okay this is better or the first one is better last one is first better. one To remove the lens, we use our forefinger of both hand to position the lid margin at the lens edge. Then we gently press the eyelid margin of the eye towards each other. Doing so, the lens will come off and easily can be removed. As the over refraction is done and the patient is satisfied with vision, we can now order the lens using the required parameters. Let's see an example for better understanding. Through this video, we tried our best to demonstrate you briefly about the RCP contact lens fitting and dispensing procedure. Hope you all got some insight from this. Thank you.